Hi folks, let me give you some facts. Supplementation is the rage. The key is which product really works. Some supplements have ingredients that are just fillers, not life change tea. For instance, our D365 detox pill is all natural, no fillers, and packs you a punch. This powerful pill will build your immune system, detoxify your body, and give you more energy. We also carry Colostrum LD pills, which give athletes an edge, 20% more lean muscle strength, stamina, and performance. And by the way, it's clinically proven. Get detoxed, get strong at getthetea.com. Hey, Fight fans, it's Michelle Joy Phelps, and I am joined by Spencer Fearon, the knowledge, as we call much, him. Lady. The lead man on toe-to-toe every Wednesday, well, Sky listen, Sports. But yeah, every, I am the lead man on toe-to-toe, but you are also the lead lady, our US, <laughs> our US correspondent, and you got a fan club. People are falling in love with your, your voice, and then they go on Twitter and see your pretty face. How cool is that? Thank you, thank you. I wanted to ask you about the Martin Joshua fight, obviously. Uh, first of all, I'm hearing that you called it. You, is, is that, that what happened? Is that, is that something new? You're saying, first of all, no, no, no. <laughs> You're saying, is this, is this seriously, I'm going to be real, man. This is what I do. I study this game. I love this game so much that I study the game. You know what I mean? And, for every, and the next thing I want to say to all them idiots who are out there who say, oh, Spencer Perrin is not no historian. Name anything right now. I can, I can embarrass people. You know this? Do you know what I mean? Because I live, I sleep, I eat. This is my thing. Right? Well, I've just got a platform now because God's blessed me. So I've just got a platform. So I'm cool. So what are your thoughts on Anthony Joshua becoming the new IBF champion? Um, it's, Fighting it's, for British it's, it's, boxing. It's, it's not just exciting for British boxing, but we look on this as a, a lineage. When the IBF title was first formed, it was Larry Holmes that absconded with a WBC belt in, in late 83 and picked up the, in 84, picked up the IBF title. And you've got great names who have held that belt. You know what I mean? One of the, one of the greatest light heavyweights who moved up, Michael Spinks was my fighter. Michael, I love Michael Spinks, right? Forget, right? When he was a light heavyweight, he was superb. And Michael Spinks was the IBF champion. I'm saying, right, Andy, you've got that belt that... The two guys, Larry Holmes, most probably uh, one of the greatest top four heavyweights of all time, and one of the best jabs. Larry Holmes, a heavyweight champion, and uh, Michael Spinks is one of the greatest top five, maybe light heavyweights uh, of all time. Like went up, went up when he moved up and had that title, and now you've you've got that belt. That's that's a that's a beautiful thing. Right, right. Somebody just walked into boxing when he was 18 years old. Come so break on, break down the knowledge for me. Who would you like to see? Anthony Joshua face next because we do know that at this point this maybe it was a little premature with him in his career he took the opportunity yeah. and he made the right decision obviously yeah. but there still needs to be some gradual I'm glad that you're saying that because there's no rush he's still a young right. man he's he like he's it's still embryonic stages for him it was right. a fight like right take this fight, it's here, you've been called out by the guy, do you want to take it? And there was a lot of people, there was a lot of cynicism behind it. There was a lot of like, people saying, oh, well, Anthony ain't going to win this fight. It's, 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 it's going to be too, there was a lot, lots of people there. Right. I studied the fight and I was saying like, right, if, uh, if, if Joshua could administer that right hand, because Martin leads into it. But it's, it's, it's like, maybe it's Anthony Joshua's birthright to all of this. If you listen to his name, like Anthony, the, 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 the name Anthony means worthy to be praised or praiseworthy. You know what I mean, and, and uh, Joshua means God's salvation or God's grace. So you combine the two together. You got, you got. That's and that's what his name means. This is a, this is, this is great for British boxing. It's great for world boxing because you look at the guy. The guy's cut like an Adonis. He he speaks so so affably. He he punches real hard. He knocks out guys. He's a good looking guy. He transcends because he's like street culture guys like the Smallsies and those kind of guys and like the grime artists, they love him. And then you get the old British grannies who love him as well. He crosses every, he ticks every single box. You know, like if we ever we make like on, if we to make a, a, a heavyweight boxer and we have to pick out all these things, all these intangibles. So far as a heavyweight, Anthony Joshua marks, ticks all those boxes. More so over than um, uh, uh, Tyson Fury, more so over than uh, Deontay Wilder, more so, more so he, he, he's the guy. So we've got to give him all the credit in the world for going out in that way and just demonstrating what he's done. We've got to props him. That was excellent. So who would you like to see him I'm dodging in that with question next. right now. <laughs> I'm dodging that question. Reason why? Because he's still a baby, yeah. right? And and but I, he's also now a world champion, which no, comes with responsibility. I, so no one wants to see him fight someone they've never heard of no, no, at no. this but point. But with, right, anybody he fights, right, right. you're going to get this reception. You know why? Because people yeah. love him. Right. And right now, 
Dante, look, look, look who Dante Wilder fought in his, in his last two. Since Dante Wilder beat Romain Sylvain, who has he boxed? Just out of curiosity, who? who? What well, name is the name? He's fighting the name now in Povetkin, but Alexander Povetkin is a very, very good fighter. But apart from that, who who's he fought? Right? So I'm saying it's about a gradual learning process. The gradual learning process, and he will because right now everyone can run to, to box record they can tweet me and I'll tell you if they're good or rubbish right and, and so therefore they're, Eddie Hearn's a clever guy Eddie Hearn ain't going to bring over no, no, no garbage for him he's going to get decent guys to go and fight I hear that he could fight the winner of uh, uh, Pulev and Derek Suzora that because like that's for the European title and so it's, it's still credible because if Anthony didn't box for the for the world title in this fight here he'll be looking to fight that winner for the European anyway so it's all about gradual pro progression what I do know is I'd like to see Anthony Joshua and Deontay Wilder fight more than anything I'm not even saying that I'll go fight Tyson Fury Tyson Fury's got his hands full in a rematch with Klitschko which I believe Tyson Fury will win but Tyson Fury should uh, Sorry, Anthony Joshua should should concentrate on getting Deontay Wilder. What Get about, that fight now. What about the likes of Luis? Uh, um, uh, I'm sorry, Ortiz. Luis uh, Ortiz is a dangerous guy. Um, and then there's also, the but there's also Malik guy. Scott. There's Malik, Gerald Washington. Malik, Malik Scott. What, what, what all of a sudden you say Malik Scott? Malik Scott um, got beat by Derek Sazora. Got stopped by Derek Sazora. Malik Scott got um, stopped by Deontay Wilder. Malik Scott got got. Uh, Come on, you're saying Malik Scott? I, I... Well, I'm saying like in, in terms of, obviously he's not going to go for Tyson Fury next or Deontay Wilder, so I'm, Listen, I'm trying I, to... let me tell you this. I know Anthony Joshua. You, you guys said, have been in the ring with if you, him. Uh, if you said, all right, Andy, here's, Andy, here, is, here is Tyson Fury next, he's yeah. taking it. And Tyson yeah. Fury will take it as well. Yeah. So, so, but what I'm saying is like we've got two British guys who are both heavyweight champions, right? Let's let's build it up. Let's make it more juicy, right? Because they're going to get paid. Fan and you got paid fantastic well now. So I'm saying... Like Con and Brooke? Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> right. You know, no, but listen, no, no. But, they, these, but the thing about it is this. The difference is this. These two will fight each other. Yeah, they right? will. Right. These two. These, right. So let's build it up. Let's get really, really juicy. Let's get everybody in, in, our, in our superb nation of 64 million, 587,000 yeah. uh, 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 people in this country. Let everybody <laughs> get behind it and say, yeah, we want that fight and then let it happen and let everyone earn everybody's gonna earn you know what I mean because people be flying in from the states okay, yeah. you know what I mean people selling popcorn making money everywhere you go look around they'll be making money you understand I know you'll be here to cover it too right right because I love I love behind the ropes so sorry behind the gloves sorry 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 sis right right I, you know, seriously just keep on doing what you're doing sis right we need more females inside boxing going around um, gaining knowledge speaking knowledge going around doing what they're doing because like because this is how boxing transcends everything. We got, we got everybody who just likes to they're, they're embellished to the sport, and 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 you're waving a flag for all the females out there. Aww, thanks, Spence. That's a sweet. That's the best compliment anyone's paid me. Thank you. Well, I always appreciate your time. Thank, Thank you, you so much, much you honestly. Girl, Love you, Claire, I, right. Great seeing you again. Cool. Bye, bye, fans. If you guys haven't already done so, make sure you download the Behind the Gloves app. It's free, and it features really cool stuff like a fight calendar that reminds you of all the upcoming fights, and it allows for you to, with one click, to remind yourself directly to your phone. And it also features 24 seven breaking news that's going on in boxing. So make sure you guys go ahead and do that and subscribe to this channel.